Okay. We're on the 12th floor here. This is the last full day that this building is going to be in use. Um, I don't think this floor is in use. I don't see anybody up here. We're going to go up to the machine room. See that. Okay, I know we're a minute into this already, but I'll do the introduction. This is Oklahoma Bridges here. And this is the Kerr and Drummond buildings. You may have seen an older video on my channel of the um, elevator governor. I'll show you the building that that came out of. That building right there is where the elevator governor came out of that you saw in my other video. It was built uh, about two years before this building was constructed. And it will still be in service after these are torn down. Um, these buildings are each 12 stories tall here. And they were completed in 1966 or 1967. And they still have all the original elevator machinery and we'll go and look at them this will be the last pretty close to the last day that they're operating the um, um, people are going to be moving out tomorrow I won't be able to witness that but um, sorry I'm looking for the key here open the door in here, also a little noisy, I think only two of these elevators are functioning right now, so there's one of the motor generators that's used to convert three phase alternating current into direct current for the traction motors and there's the rotor assembly for one of those motor generator sets you can see the squirrel cage rotor at the bottom okay there's the squirrel cage rotor of a three-phase motor and there's the wound coils of the DC generator There's four elevators, there's four motor generator sets, and they've just been sort of limping this by to keep it running for these last couple months. You may have seen my video on the selector from the 12th, from the 10-story building.
this installation is very similar to the one uh, that the governors came out of, except it's a little different. Uh, in that building, the motor generators are mounted right here on the same frame as the traction motors. Uh, in this building, they're obviously they're located on the lower level. And then there's the selector mechanism operating. Watch it here. See, it's got a solenoid valve that lifts it up so the fingers aren't sitting there constantly riding on the uh, contact finger plates. And that's how it determines that the car is level or not. And of course, that's operated by the pulley here. There's a, a guard and a jockey pulley that guides it down into the shaft, down to the car. And then another spot there where it goes down through the floor. Here's most of the main controls. Relay logic. It's pretty amazing stuff. Uh, one of the subscribers to this channel that I'm also a subscriber to is Mr. Matt and Mr. Shea. And they go into a great bit of detail on how these um, work here. And um, it's pretty interesting stuff. A lot of patents. I'm sure if you were to look up these patents, you'd get a little bit of information on how this operates. And of course, there's an inspection tag there. Code. Of course, you've got much larger relays down here that actually supply power to the larger current carrying devices like the motors. And then here's the motors themselves. Uh, I think they're, uh, if I remember correctly, I've looked at the tag on these before, they're 35 horsepower direct current motors. Let's go look at, let's find a tag that we can look at, it's easier to see. The caution is required walking around this stuff here. Rectifiers, capacitors, looks like stuff you'd seen in an old radio. The transformers there. Probably some kind of resistance coil with some taps. Another rectifier. Back side of all those relays we saw on the other side. Resistances. Actually, I think that's what these are. I don't think these are rectifiers. I think these are resistances also. Uh, that's why they used DC motors. Uh, they didn't have variable frequency AC drives. They had DC motors, and then you just use simple resistance to control the speed of the motor. The brush assemblies there.
29 horsepower. Well, uh, this might not be much of a elevator machine room video compared to some of the other users you've seen, but I wanted to, sh to show this off. This is the last time this thing's going to be in operation. This building is just new enough that it doesn't use the flyball style governors that the uh, other building use. So there's the governors there, boring style. The weights are mounted in the pulley. There's some of the uh, electronics that are mounted on that selector frame there. And you can see the selector tape where it runs off and it runs down to the shaft. I don't know when these buildings are going to be torn down, but um, this is going to be the last time that they're really going to be in use for anything. So, Oklahoma Special Olympics is what they're being used for right now. One of these is out of order. I'd say it's these two over here. I knew they were only running on two elevators, so it's just these two that are running. And it still has the touch style um, control button. You'll see that tube light up every once in a while. There we go. So this is Oklahoma Bridges, and thank you for watching. I'm glad you got to see this. Uh, I know the camera work in this is probably not very good. I'm trying to get as much as I can in quickly. Of course, this side over here has been deactivated. This side over here is still running. just fascinating to watch. Uh, pretty soon there's only going to be one building still using this style of controls. They're in the uh, process of upgrading another building right now, one of the other five-story buildings. And then the only building that will be left in service will be another five-story building, and I think they're going to probably be upgrading it here soon. So it's a much better lit room. I'll try to get some video footage of it. here next to the dead elevator on the other side and get a view of the selector operating.
Looks like it's going to go down to the first floor. It's going to pick up somebody probably. These selectors are a lot simpler than the ones that come out of the 10-story building Wentz. Um, they don't have that advanced mechanism. They look quite a bit uh, plainer, much less complex. And it looks like it's just going to sit there on the. Looks like it's just going to sit there on the first floor. Okay. All right. Well, uh, anyway, this is Oklahoma Bridges, and uh, on the top of Drummond Hall on the 14th floor. Thank you for watching.